Hello and welcome back to Tibet. Bengal attacked us, the fools. We should have never done such a thing. Now they must pay the ultimate price. AKA figuring out the fact that they're actually pretty damn terrible at what they do. Sadly, we, I just realized we're attacking into a jungle, but at this point it's not that big a deal because Bengal is sort of broken. Just sort of. All right, maybe a bit more than sort of. They are in no shape. No shape at all. Amazingly, we're not actually stopping to uh, recover any morale, which might be useful. I don't know about you, but apparently it's quite a good idea to do. Alas, we can't have everything, can we? Right, now what am I going to do about Bengal? I mean, I would really like the Bengal data Delta as well, but I'm not about to be greedy. Let's just take these three provinces, maybe? Eh, it might be good. Tirut would be nice as well, but perhaps not yet. Just the cores I have, I suppose, eh? Actually, I could take everything because it's defensive war, of course. No mistake. Right, return cores to... No, of course not. Bit more? That would be too much, wouldn't it? Yeah, way too much. A wonderful idea interruption came right on the peace deal. Or at least something that might become one. Uh, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> In all honesty. I mean, technically I can't make this into a core. Let's not be uh, silly. But I think we'll probably just leave it at that. A thousand ducats. Oh, I do want to pay for this war. Please. At the moment I can only get 90. You know what? We're gonna bash them a tiny bit more. <laughs> just to convince them to hand over a bit more money. If you know what I mean. Pegu wants help against Daivye. And not Ayuta or not Ayuta. Alright, I guess I can help you. But first, you help me a tiny bit more with this little uh escapade of mine. That'd be wonderful. Negative six now. It's still not gonna work out, is it? Should probably just peace out. Alright, we'll peace out as soon as this finishes. I'm gonna siege down these two and then I'm gonna get out of this war. Come on, come on, come on. Let's do this nice and quick. Oh, great. Fine. Well, peace out now. By how much? Negative one. Fine. That is going to be it then. Thank you kindly. Alright, how many troops do you have? Only the one. And you broke our alliance, didn't you? Ah, <laughs> one. You're now being destroyed, aren't you? By Punjab. Well, I can't really say you didn't kind of deserve it. Still, Oriot, you're not exactly powerful. Still, more so than me. Which is problem enough in my book. Reduce all the war exhaust. I mean, bloody hell. I am getting pummeled right now. From every angle. I'm going to do this. Of course, it's going to increase the uh, unrest quite a bit, but at the moment I don't really have much of an option. So. Well, actually, why do I do it right now? True. Why am I doing this right now? What am I... Bloody hell. Getting overworked, guys. That's what's happening here. Too many things at once. Alright, my war, this war against... Oh, Ayuta actually ended up joining. 
Yeah, we're pretty much screwed. That's wonderful. Probably not even bother fighting you. Did they join my war? They did not. Well, you can expect me to not help you then. Problem is, of course, that puts me at no allies at all. Which is, as you may expect, not the best situation to be in. Right. We're probably going to make this our new capital once... Yeah, we're going to make this our new capital. East Bengal seems like a great place to put our capital. So I'm going to leave this fort here. I'm going to remove the one in Kale. Or Kael. And the one here. There's no need for that one. So, Ariat, are you actually going to attack me, or what's happening here? No idea. Hey, there's their army. I was going to say, where is it? Where is his army? I'm sure he had one. This at some point, hey. How many loans do we have? Two? Two. It's not the worst. Of course, oh my god, inflation. This is a bit ridiculous. Alright, the south is nothing I can do about that. I'll just have to leave it as it is. I'm actually able to peace out any time. What do you want? War reparations and money. I would give you the war reparations, but I don't have the money, so... About that. <laughs> Where are you heading? Korla. Oh, it's down there, fair enough. Keeping the Highlands so that they don't get their Horde bonuses. And then we'll see what we can do. I might actually just debase the currency once or twice. Your extension makes it pretty bad. Religious unity isn't that horrible, so... I think we can probably afford it at least once. I'm actually going to need one cab at least. To get some sort of, you know... Anything out of this, really. No, Rebong is Highlands. We can leave ourselves in there. At least for a short little while. Steps, steps, mountains. Here we go. Let's go into Kobodo as soon as we can. If we can slip by, they will definitely come to attack us there. Simply because, you know, it's their own land. They like defending themselves. Hejaz has inner conflicts. Sounds like f just a lot of fun. As does my situation to them, probably. General died. Also very nice. How wonderful. Nobility, would you grant me a generalship? You would. It would give you a lot of influence, but... Better than nothing. And he's actually sort of average. Great. Just great. Pegu's gonna get destroyed. That's pretty much assured. Davier most likely doesn't like me. Have I? No, I haven't rivaled them. Not yet. And yeah, this is not working out for me. Not at all. What kind of a war is this? Just conquest? Yeah, it's a superiority one, so as long as we are to maintain a positive outlook on it, we should be okay. Say positive outlook, you know what I mean. Military tech would be absolutely wonderful to have right now. So I'm gonna unrestrict myself there. This is actually a fort. Holy crap. Guys, if we don't win this fort, we are more than screwed. Also, that's a lot of revolts that I don't want to deal with. God. Nothing is working out right now. Hmm. I'm probably going to regret this, but Nepal. Alright, it's not Hamid War. <laughs> it's just like crap. Crap, 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 crap. Still, if I win this siege before they finish that siege, I should have positive war score. Then again, I haven't fought any battles. Depends, of course, if these count as battles to the a um, to the war score manager. I mean, technically, you're having a battle for a fort, but the question is, will we even manage to finish this by the time 
they uh, engage us. This is actually our capital. So if we win this, that would be wonderful. If we don't win it in time, though, it's going to be absolutely horrendous. So I'm banking everything on this. We win it. It was beautiful. It was so beautiful. Ryuta has pieced out with Pegu, really. For what? Didn't I didn't see something change hands there? No, nothing pieced out. It's just... Wait, are you winning? Holy crap, well done. Ha! They're actually winning. That's amazing. Right, we have a pretty good war score against Ariatna now. Neither of these is any good for us. Do I have any interest in taking land? I mean, technically these two are part of a state that I own, so I might just do so. So if I take uh, this and that, I mean, they don't want to give it to him right now, but that would be essentially what I would go for. Ugh, that's terrible. That is terrible. Essentially, I'm just going to sit here for a while, hey? Can't really do much more. Questions: Do I want to peace out just like that? Well, I could. And take some money off the top. War reps would be too much, though. I don't really want to expand too far into this land anyway, so I'm not too bothered by it. This is Ming, so I'm not. That's fine. Right, I guess that's the piece here. Actually, I'll wait one more month. A tiny bit more money. <laughs> I mean, if I'm gonna do it. Cheerio, guys. Too kind. I guess I'm just gonna core it all. Thank you. Let's head back down south. I'm actually willing to peace out right now, right here. If you just let me. I kind of do need to get out of this war. Still, they can't get past the fort. They might actually just fight the Bengalese for me, which would be amazing. However, I do doubt it's going to happen. Still, it's always time to wish and hope. Right? I'm not entirely sure why you're fighting Taungu. Well, you're in two different wars. That's a damn shame for you. Also, well done to you, Punjab. You've completely... Screwed over the poor people in Landaka. Guaranteed by Afghanistan and Punjab after Punjab ate half of it. I love the way this game works sometimes. Makes no sense whatsoever. Right, those rebels are going to be a problem. Let's just admit that right now, right here. And what another problem is that Uzbek is still trying to bloody make my vassals run away. Of course they're at war with the Orient now. Let's see how that works out. If it works out well in terms of Orient, which I probably doubt because I mean, then again we didn't exactly screw them over that badly. Crap, they took those lands. That is not good in any way, shape or form. You are going to attack them though, which is very uh, brave of you, even if I not dare to help you. Why would you do such a thing? Actually, where are you heading? Dhaka. Hey, I mean, if it's jungle and I can defend in it, I'm not too bothered. Cheerio. Also, have you guys realized we've reached the ocean? This is amazing. Finally, those boat technologies are finally going to make some use for us, eh? Fifth of September. Eventually, we're going to arrive. Wait, what? Fifth of September? Ah, that's a huge amount, actually. That's way far away. What even? A new loan! Great. 
Actually, no, not a new loan, just another one that we renewed. Oops, surplus equipment, very nice. There we go, there comes the thing I was expecting. Kind of a merchant class, fair enough. They actually ate Tangu. Ah, what a poor thing to see. How petty they are. To be eaten by the ones they formerly attacked. Hey, conversions are getting completed as well. How beautiful. And yeah, I think we might actually move our capital down to here. Firstly, to remove the uh, autonomy modifier. But also, because why not? I mean, it's a great province to have. Not to mention all the trade that's going to have to go through it anyway. Ah, well then again. I mean, all this land up here won't exactly help us. If we get land over here, though, we can transfer it. Oh, that's deep inside me. Well, I say deep. It's like right next door. <laughs> Still, that doesn't mean we have to fight Ming, and I'm not in any shape or form ready to do such a thing just yet. So, no thank you. No thank you at all. Hey, white piece as well. Very nice. What a wonderful thing to see. Everyone's happy. Da na na na. Holy crap, our inflation is ridiculous. Military officers, yes, please. And I did say I want to move the capital. I need 200. Oh, I need a core at first. Well, that makes sense. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Alright, Nepal. Nepal, Nepal. Grand province, you will get Kohaho. Because I haven't actually started coring it yet. So I'm pretty sure I haven't. Hmm. Unless privateers. I don't think so. Build a proper fleet. I probably should. But not right now. Manpuri in Kale. You know... Actually, I can't really do much about that, can I? Am I converting it right now? That would explain that. That would explain that quite nicely. Nope, not yet. What I'm waiting for is... Oops. I might as well, eh? Nope, not yet. Because they only spawn on the end of the first day, so you usually can actually time it right, especially since it's auto-saving every month, since it's Iron Man. You can watch this, and if it does pop, you can push it down again. As I'm sure some people have seen me do before. Not yet, wonderful. Yeah, truce. We had a truce with you, didn't we? You broke my alliance, you bloody bastard, even though I joined yours. I took such a risk on joining your war, and then you just like, nah, he doesn't need my help against Ariat. It's not like they're one of the biggest hordes once known to man. Alright, unrest is down to zero, perfect. No problems at all. Mercenary ranks, great, perfect. Now then, cores are almost done, which means I can change my capital finally. To such a great place, such as Chittatong, or however you want to pronounce it. Asian Arakabus. We actually have fire! Hooray! We have invented fire. Now. There. Bloody hell. Anyway, we had their states done. Nobility want land, and of course everyone wants land. It's just classic. S wow, these two are going to die right next to each other, aren't they? Right, nobility want land. Let's give them something of relatively good military. Here we go. You'll do fine. Monastic order as well. I mean, I'll give you something that has the wrong religion. Half them do Dhaka to the merchant guild. 
This one has a trade power of 5, this one has a trade power of 10. Hmm, I have to see. But that is it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.